Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn here from Windows Phone Thoughts, and this is my review video of Windows Phone 7. So what I have here in front of me is uh, the LG uh, prototype device that I received a couple of weeks ago. It was a loaner device from uh, Microsoft Canada, and uh, I've been using this device now for, like I said, basically about a week and a half, almost, almost two weeks now, and I'm ready to kind of, I guess, uh, decide what I think about Windows Phone 7 as an operating system. So, in a word, uh, I really like it. I think that uh, it's not perfect. No operating system is. I feel like there's uh, you know, some room for improvement in terms of some things that Windows Phone 7 can do a better job at. But overall, uh, in terms of a sort of a brand new operating system, uh, it's really important to think of Windows Phone 7 as being a 1.0 operating system. Um, even though it has you know, 7 uh, in the title, it's really not the seventh iteration of you know this operating system. They basically started over, and you have to look at it as being you know a completely new operating system. Now, if that sounds like an excuse, well, it kind of is. There are certain things that are missing, uh, most notably uh, copy paste, um, you know, true multitasking, things like that. But Microsoft has made some public commitments to um, start to update the phone. Uh, it should be kind of early early 2011 to actually have some of those features. So, although it sounds like I'm making an excuse for Microsoft. Microsoft, it's important to understand that uh, unlike previous versions of the phone, they have the ability to update the device, and I think that that's super, super important. So let's talk about, I guess, some of the things that uh, I really like about this particular phone. So number one, uh, I need to point out again, this is uh, pre-production hardware. So although the uh, software build on this on this phone is the final version of Windows Phone 7, this is the same version that is shipping all over the world, you know, kind of over the next few weeks, the actual hardware is, is not final. Now, a couple interesting things. I used to always swear that I needed a hardware keyboard, and a lot of my phones that I previously had did have hardware keyboards, but I have to admit that I literally, in two weeks, I have never opened up this keyboard to use it. I always use the on-screen keyboard. Now, that says quite a bit for how good the on-screen keyboard is um, inside of Windows Phone 7. So I'm just going to launch uh, Internet Explorer here. Uh, this is an example of a uh, web page. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just uh, uh, reload it here, if, of course, if I can actually figure out how. Um, as you can tell, though, the animations are um, really uh, smooth. Um, oops, I actually exited out of it there. Okay, let's go back into Internet Explorer. Let's click on the refresh button, which is right up at, at the top there, and you can see it's actually refreshing. So, Internet Explorer on this device, it's essentially Internet Explorer Mobile, for lack of a better term, although I don't know if that's actually what it's called, um, is a surprisingly capable browser. Um, I really appreciate um, how fast it is at, uh, at rendering pages. I didn't notice anything in particular. Um, it's, 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 quite act, it's quite good at uh, you know pinch to zoom, double tap in terms of uh, fitting to the screen, the uh, overall um, experience and sort of uh, rendering uh, what's on the screen is quite good. It does um, rotate into landscape mode. It took a couple seconds there because I'm rendering a whole page. Yeah, so it, it doesn't support flash, you know, so for some people that may be a bit of a limitation, but that's something, frankly, I think we're all kind of getting used to in mobile devices, although if you're an Android user and you have a newer version, you can get flash support, so maybe you're not used to it. But, you know, for me, it's not such a big deal that it, that, that it doesn't have flash because it does actually support YouTube. So, yeah, I would say that the browser is quite good. Let me talk about um, uh, the Xbox Live integration. Um, this isn't something that, that I played around a lot with, but now, uh, sort of actually after the official launch date, this is, um, this is a bit more fleshed out. Um, some of those things before, when I, when I clicked on it before, I would load an Xbox Live page and it would take me to a page that essentially didn't exist. So a lot of this integration is now um, tighter. As you can see, it's actually launching uh, basically an application here. So previously when I clicked on that in one of my first videos, it took me to like a page not found. So this is the first time I've done this. So I'm not sure if this is some sort of an initialization, uh, but it's I'm look, I have like a cool little animation here. I suspect it's downloading some, uh, some avatar um, information. It would of course be nice if it gave me some sort of a uh, indication of how long this process was going to take. Um, clearly it's doing something. Oh, could not sign into um, Xbox Live. Well, that's kind of weird because I, I am, in fact, connected. Okay. 
Yeah, so this is actually an, an avatar editor. So I don't exactly know what happened there, but uh, maybe they're still working out some of the kinks. Let's go back here for a second. Let's let us let us talk about this basically um, as a phone. So how well does it work as a phone? Pretty good. Basically, when you open up the dial the dial, dial pad, you basically can start dialing a phone number. But it doesn't have any of the smart the smart filtering features that that you're kind of used to. But what's kind of interesting, of course, is that you could um, you can press the search button from any app, and it will take you to um, a search function. Now, I've used this search um, a couple a couple of times. And one of the things that I, I, I really like about it is the fact that it's able to um, really find good local search results. So as you can see, I typed in pizza, and the first result is for Domino's Pizza, and that is, in fact, the closest pizza place to my house. I used it, you know, uh, uh, downtown in Calgary where I live. I just I typed in the name of a store and, you know, kind of hit search, and then away I went. There's also, um, you know, voice-activated voice search, so you can just press the button and, and say what it is you're looking for. So I really like that aspect. I like the fact that everything's all tied together. So the Bing integration is actually quite nice. Now, if you're inside, um, you're inside the People tab here, and you hit Search, it'll automatically pop up Search, so so you can go in and see um, the people that you're actually looking for. Now, I am going to point out um, one of the things that I, I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, too fond of. Oops, I'm going to end. Well, actually, here, that's actually a really good example. I'll tell you something I'm not fond of. So this is essentially a fake number here. So I'm just going to go ahead and and say that I'm, I'm going to dial it. When you're in a call, okay, so the uh, the the phone is 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 up to your face, and if I bring it back quickly, you see how that that basically took a second or two in order to come back um, because I started pulling away from my my face a little bit earlier. I don't like the fact that it takes a little while to come back, and I don't like the fact that the end call button is is quite small. I would have liked it if it was like a little bit bigger, or you know. A, I'm used to hardware buttons, you know, meaning hardware buttons down here, and I didn't really like the fact that um, uh, it's not that easy to hang up on a call, basically. So hopefully that's something Microsoft will kind of improve upon. Um, I really liked the um, uh, Outlook um, view, right? So I can go in here, I can see flags, I can see unread messages, um, I can click on something, you know, so here's someone that uh, posted a comment on my YouTube video. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and hopefully it'll actually load the U the YouTube video. Now, this may or may not work because the browser doesn't support Flash, but it does support, it seems to support some variation of MPEG-4 because it does in fact play some videos. So if I click on watch video, it should actually start playing the video here if if it's uh, sort of working correctly. So I think it's really cool. Uh, you know, YouTube support is something that's really, really important to a lot of people. And even though Windows Phone 7 does not have flash support um, right out of the box, and currently there's no way of adding it in, uh, it does support um, YouTube videos. It's taking a little bit longer than normal to kind of get it going here. That's probably just due to my particular 3G connection. If you're connected over Wi-Fi, um, it actually does start there, working. Done here okay, so and today I'm just going to turn down the volume here, but but yeah, so there you go. So there's the video. Now, it is kind of a lower quality uh, version. You can't do any kind of, you know, pinch to zoom to zoom in, nor can you do any sort of um, function where, uh, you know, you, like double tapping it to fit the screen. So yeah, pretty basic playback, but it is, it is pretty cool to see that it's supported. Um, the other thing that I really, really like is uh, I found this phone to be very um, reliable. I've used you know a few different apps on the phone. Um, I've been using you know full time, like I said, for uh, you know for a couple of weeks now. I've used it uh, pretty much every morning to wake me up as an alarm clock. I've, it has worked flawlessly. It hasn't crashed on me. It hasn't done anything weird. Uh, the most important thing I can say uh, on this is that I mean, in two weeks, I don't think I've powered down the phone once, and it's just as snappy and and responsive um, as it was when I when I basically first started using it. You know, for me, that level of reliability. Um, is really, really important and I, something that I really, really appreciate. Uh, now, this is Marketplace. Um, applications are, star are starting to come out. I think by the end of the year, Microsoft is saying they're hoping to have a, about a 1,000 applications in their Marketplace, and that's going to continue to accelerate. So if you're looking for apps, obviously, this is still a new Marketplace. You're not going to find as many apps in here as you do you know, in the Android Store or an Apple's, Apple Store, but overall, 
the app story is uh, getting better really rapidly. And hopefully as, as uh, developers start to see success in the Windows Phone marketplace, they're going to continue uh, to uh, develop apps. Now, one thing that's, that's kind of neat, I'll just scroll down here. You see how that number, it says five in the marketplace? Well, that's actually the number of apps I have that, that need to be updated. And so I actually kind of like that, that it says it right on the tile. So I know that there are app updates. That's, that's a smart use of a live tile because unlike on my iPod touch, I actually have to go into the app store in order to see whether there are apps. And from here, I know that, um, I already, I already have some apps. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else can I show you here in terms of, um, uh, the people, um, you can see here that it shows me um, a recent update. So, so here's me. Here are some of my recent, you know, um, updates. If I want to, I can click on a picture here. So here's my son dressed up as a lion for Halloween. I can go through and I can see, you know, um, a bunch of different pictures um, in inside the album. I can make comments on it. So I, I really, really like this integration. Um, everything about it is just really smooth and fast and fluid. And it's, it's basically what I was hoping for and what I was expecting, you know, um, from the phone. One of the interesting things, or one of the things I guess that kind of surprised me, is that um, I have the what's new, but uh, some there there are certain things. So in that case, I tapped on my status message, and it um, it immediately allowed me to uh, update it. But there's some sometimes I click on something, and my expectation is to be able to see it or kind of see more information, and and it doesn't really happen. Um, and that's something. I also want to mention about the Zoom software clients. Let me just go in here into music and videos. One of the things that uh, you don't really get in this interface if you are outside of the United States, and it really depends on what market you're in. So I'm just going to make sure that my volume is turned down here because I don't want to uh, I don't want to uh, get in any trouble from the copyright people. So I'm going to go in here and I'll just start up and. Uh, a song here and so the song is actually playing as you can see there's a, a progress indicator here now if I was in the US I would actually have some options here in terms of being able to see some information uh, about this particular artist I'd have bio I'd have a nice background and I'd have like a really rich experience like I do in the Zune HD due to licensing restrictions and you know intellectual property rights and blah 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 that other junk um, unless you're in the US, you get a really kind of uh, crappy experience in terms of being able to get richer information. So yeah, you can still listen to your music, but you know, as someone that was used to using a Zoom HD, I was expecting to see this really rich, really awesome uh, music experience. And basically all, all of that is gone um, from the Zoom HD right now, or sorry, from the Zoom experience on the Windows Phone 7. So that's something that I'm not, I'm not really super happy with. Um, yeah, you know, in terms of, um, over, overall device performance, you know, looking at pictures, looking at videos. Um, I've been using this for everything. I set up, uh, you know, some smart, uh, some smart sync, um, sync groups on my PC. So as soon as I dock this thing, I'm getting all my most recent pictures. I'm getting all my most recent music. And so I really feel like I'm, uh, you know, nicely connected with, with what is going on. And as you can see here in, in my picture feed, uh, th this, these are actually people that have, have uploaded pictures to, uh, basically windows live or Facebook. And so it, it makes it a really cool, um, makes it, easy for me to be able to connect to uh, kind of what what they're doing um, with their content. So overall, what do I think of Windows Phone 7? I think it's a really, uh, a really promising platform. Um, there are tons of little bugs and tons of little quirks that need to be worked out. I'll show you an example. So here's a, a Twitter app. Um, this is a free app, so it kind of has this little ad here. And if it all works as it did before i should see some a bad gateway error popping up so you can see it's actually loading up here you can see the the little progress indicator and uh, you can start using it and then you see this uh bad gateway twitter error bad gateway so there's a few things like that, that that i've kind of seen um on on some of these apps so it's weird like it still seems to load some stuff but it doesn't actually sort of work flawlessly i think a lot of these things are going to get ironed out over the next kind of 30 to 60 days developers you know now that the phones are actually shipping and customers all around the world are, are starting to be able to purchase them you're going to see developers actually figuring out what went wrong with their app uh maybe things that they didn't see in the emulator whatnot so yeah overall um i really really like windows phone 7. when i compare it to a device like this, so this is my um, uh, an HTC HD2. 
I love this hardware, you know, I'm not such a fan of, of this LG hardware because like I said, I don't use the sliding keyboard. When I think about my experience using Windows Phone uh, 6.5, Windows Mobile 6.5 on this particular phone, words that come to mind are, you know, uh, slow, um, a little bit buggy, unpredictable. You know, there would be times I'd open up my email and it would just be like waiting through molasses. It would be so incredibly painfully slow. And I don't really have the same types of problems with Windows Phone 7. I would say that overall my experience with, with uh, this device and this operating system is uh, it's really reliable. I feel like I can take it out of my pocket and use it, whereas with this device, it's like every time I powered it up, I wasn't too sure if I was gonna get a, a great, you know, fluid, smooth experience, or if I was gonna have some trouble with it, and, and, that's, and that's saying a lot, because I still quite like this device, and this device has, been, has given me the best, you know, kind of Windows Phone experience that I've ever had, but on this device, I feel like um, it's even more reliable and even more kind of robust. Um, there's lots of stuff that Microsoft still needs to do. You know, there's people that would love to see uh, Twitter integration directly into the contacts. I'd love to see more information added into the contacts. Um, when I go in and I browse uh, a particular person, um, one of the things, and I can't really demo this because I don't want to show my personal information to other people um, or my friend's personal information, but um, when you're looking at a contact and you move over, you would typically, you know, you would see what's new like on Facebook or some of their comments, but you don't get to see um, events that are attending. You don't get to see uh, any pictures or videos or anything like that. So richer integration um, with social media, I think will be definitely something Microsoft will be doing in a bigger way. The other thing that I'm, I'm not too fond of is the calendar view. So you can go into here, you can do a month view. The text is so tiny in the month view, it's basically completely impossible to see. But you can go into month view, okay. This is your agenda view. Previously, the agenda view would be, um, uh, it would show you basically one day at a time in, in most other phones. And then when you want to see the next day, you would kind of swipe down or swipe over. And I really prefer that. This actually gives you everything in sort of one big long list. And I personally find it a little bit hard to separate out exactly which day is which day. So that's just a little thing for me, but I'm sure Microsoft will continue to evolve. So overall, that's my experience in using a Windows Phone 7. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting some final, you know, shipping hardware uh, to see what the device performs like and sort of feels like with with real shipping hardware it should be virtually identical to this but overall you know maybe a little bit better battery life a few of those other things so I think the Windows Phone 7 is uh, is a really good phone uh, for someone who is interested in, um, I guess, a phone that is um, easy to use, a phone that's fast and reliable, a phone that has really great social uh, media integration with Windows Live and with Facebook and with uh, you know a bunch of different cloud services. I think that the phone itself, the minimum hardware specification that Microsoft put on um, their OEM partners and said, you guys have to do a minimum of this. I think that is a great idea. So far, it seems to be paying huge dividends for Microsoft and their partners because really what you're getting here is an experience that is fast and reliable and that's something that, um, frankly, not a lot of pre previous um, Windows phones in the past have really been, <laughs> have really been able to say. So, I think that uh, you should definitely check out Windows Phone 7. Uh, you should try to get your hands on a device or go down to a store and check it out. If you're looking for a new phone, I really think that this type of phone is worth looking at. It's not perfect, lots of room for improvement. Um, if you're looking, you know, uh, for a platform that has you know tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of apps, this is not the platform you're looking for. You know, maybe give it a year or two and it'll gear up and we'll see tons of apps. But for right now, um, there's some good apps. The app store is getting better, but overall, the kind of core functionality um, of what this phone offers, I think, is fantastic, and I think it's definitely worth looking at. So this has been Jason Dunn from Windows Phone Thoughts. This has been my um, sort of long-winded review of Windows Phone 7, but you know, I had a lot to say about the uh, platform and the operating system, and I wanted to make sure that I kind of got it all done in one video. So there you go. Uh, post a comment, um, rate the video, tell me um, if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them while I can. Unfortunately, this phone has to go back to Microsoft, but I'm working hard to get my hands on my very own Windows Phone 7 as soon as someone in Canada will sell me one, uh, one of the carriers here. And then as soon as that is done, as soon as I get one, I'll be using Windows Phone 7 full-time because I really do believe that this is uh, the best platform, the best phone platform for my needs and what I need to do with my phone. So thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.